Center for the Ethiopian Educational Information and Communication Technology presents Educational Satellite Television Programs. Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on the study of topographic maps. This is the first lesson in our new unit on map use and map work. During this unit, you will learn how to recognize the meanings, uses, conventional signs, and symbols and distribution of topographical maps. You will also learn how to distinguish the properties of the globe and different types of maps, analyze the meaning, significance, properties, and classification of map projections and draw sketch maps. In today's lesson, you will define the term topographic and you will learn what they are used for. Maps are used in many different disciplines of learning. However, they have a special significance for geographers as they are important tools for analyzing the distribution of land and for identifying geographic patterns and relationships. It is difficult to observe and interpret these features in real landscapes. Thus, Maps are essential. Let us begin by learning about the word topography, which is Greek in origin. The word topography is made up of two parts, topos and graphy. Students, can you guess what these two parts mean? Please discuss this with a partner, and I will tell you the answers in a few minutes. Students, let's get ready. Begin.
Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Welcome back, students. Were you able to guess what the two parts of the word topography mean? Topos means places, and graphy means writing or description. Therefore, the word topography is the explanation or description of places. Great work, everyone! Did you know that another name for topographic maps is topo sheets? Topographic maps show one or more natural and cultural feature of an area. Therefore, they display both human-made and natural features of the world. For example, a topographic map might show the rivers, streams, drainage, and vegetation that exists in a specific area. These are the natural features of the land. It might also show the roads, buildings, and land uses which are created by humans. Topographic maps are large-scale maps that are drawn to show a relatively small area. As a result, they are also sometimes referred to as scenery maps. Topographic maps use a series of symbols to represent the different elements of the map. These symbols are called conventional symbols. You will be learning more about these in the next lesson. Series of topographic maps are numbered in sequence, as you see here. Each map presents an area of one degree latitude by one degree longitude. Thus, each sheet is one sixteenth of the international sheet. Degree sheets are lettered sequentially as you see here, and they are subdivided into half degree and quarter degree sheets as well. These sheets are sequentially numbered as you see here. A northeast, A southeast, A northwest, A southwest, and so on. Teacher, please divide the class into groups of three or four. Students, please turn to page 33 of the textbook and look at the topo sheet of Addis Ababa that is shown. As a group, create a list of natural features and human-made features that are shown. You may begin now. Students, let's get ready. Begin.
Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Hello again, students. I wonder what natural and human-made features you included in your list. Let us discuss some of them together. The topo sheet of Addis Ababa shows forests. It also shows a series of rivers that flow through the area. In terms of human-made features, the topo sheet depicts buildings, schools, factories, and government offices. It also shows the roadways, power lines, and cemeteries. Did you have all of those features on your lists? If not, make sure to find them on the topo sheet and add them to your lists. Students, let us do one more activity for this lesson. Please answer the following question. What are topographic maps useful for? Students, let's get ready. Begin. Time's up! Let's get back to our lesson. Hello, everyone. Topographic maps 
are useful for many purposes. They can show us the different geographic aspects of a piece of land, which can give us a better understanding of how different regions were formed. They can help us to determine the extent to which humans have interfered with or altered a specific piece of land. Topographic maps can show us different natural and cultural landscapes, which is useful for socio-economic planning. They are useful for engineers when they are trying to design land features and for tourists when they are trying to visit a specific region. Topographic maps are also useful for military purposes as they provide specific information on the landscape. Well done, students. Topographic maps are very useful indeed. And since they are so detailed and informative, they are sometimes also referred to as general purpose or reference maps. In today's lesson, you learned about the origin of the word topography. You were taught that the term refers to the explanation or description of places. You learned that topographic maps are also referred to as topo sheets, scenery maps, general purpose and reference maps. You also learned about the different features of topographic maps and their many uses. This brings us to the end of our lesson for today. In your next lesson, you will learn more about conventional signs and symbols that are used on topographic maps. This will be very useful for your study of maps. Until then, thank you, teacher. Thank you, students.